Hey everybody, this is my second part of the prediction videos for the Olympic soccer tournament this summer in uh, Brazil. And this video I'm going to be looking at the women's group. So, putting all crap aside, let's just jump right in. So the women's tournament is shorter than the men's. Instead of 16 teams, there are 12 in three groups of four in the same format as the CONCACAF Gold Cup and the Copa America, where eight of the 12 teams advance to the quarterfinals, two of them being the, the two best third-place teams from each group. So let's take a look at the groups. Uh, in, for the group, a, uh, group E, we have a, con a continuation from groups A through D from the men's t teams, but again, th this is all women's uh, teams participating. So in the first group, we have Brazil, the host, China, Sweden, and South Africa. I think that the Brazilian women's team had a really disappointing World Cup last year in Canada. They lost in the round of 16 to Australia, and they really should have went farther than that. So here they're going to be looking for a bit of redemption, and I think that they have some stiff competition in this group. China is resurgent after many years being out of the spotlight. Their women's team is really disciplined in defense, really stubborn to break down. They got to the quarterfinals last year when nobody expected them to. Uh, and they have to go up against a very physical and strong Swedish team, which who also had a disappointing World Cup last year, but was one of the favorites to go far and possibly win it all. Uh, I think Sweden is one of the best teams in Europe for the women's. China is one of the best in Asia. They defeated Japan, the former women's champions, to qualify for this tournament. Japan's absence being a huge uh, loss. Um, but And then, you have, of course, you have South Africa, which is not a really strong team, but they qualified through, uh, through the African continent, uh, surprised many people. Uh, I don't think that they're going to go far. I think that they are the weakest team in this group by a substantial margin. And I think they'll finish last in this group. So my predictions on who's going to go through. I'm going to say because Brazil has the home court advantage, I'm just going to go with Brazil to win it, this group. I think they'll finish first. Uh, and second, I think, due to their toughness and their physicality, I think Sweden will come in second. And I think China will come in third. And because of the fact that all three teams that I just mentioned, I think, will beat South Africa, I think that China will advance to the quarterfinals as one of the best third-place teams. So looking at Group F, we have Canada, Australia, Zimbabwe, and Germany. Uh, Germany course is one of the best teams in the world. Some people argue that the best women's team in Europe right now. Uh, I would say that's a toss-up between them and France. Uh, Canada, who just hosted the Women's World Cup last year, put in a strong performance. They're led by Christine Sinclair. They're very stubborn to break down. Uh, very strong team. And Australia, who is another really strong team, who defied expectations last year at the World Cup came inches away from reaching the semifinals, if not for a last-minute goal by Japan, the defending world champions. And I think on their best day, Australia can beat anybody in the world, including top teams like the USA and France and Japan. And the fourth team we have is Zimbabwe, who is a relatively new face on uh, the women's soccer uh, frontier. They qualified very unexpectedly with victories over the Ivory Coast and Cameroon, who both featured at the World Cup in Canada 12 months ago. Um, so in Harz, who I think is going to come through this group, I think it's going to finish in similar fashion to the group that we just went over uh, with South Africa. I think Zimbabwe is not going to come out of this group. I think they're going to lose all three games. Easy pickings, easy points for Canada, Australia, and Germany. I think that Germany, with all the quality they have and how strong they are, they'll win this group. 
And in second, I'm going to say Australia because I think they're just a little bit better than Canada at the moment. Uh, but again, I think Canada will advance in third place as one of the best third place teams with Zimbabwe finishing in fourth with zero points. And in the third and last group, we have the United States, New Zealand, France, and Colombia. This is a relatively straightforward group for the United States. France will be a very tough opponent, but the other two teams should be relatively easy two wins for them. Uh, the United States beat Colombia last year in the round of 16 at the World Cup 2-0. They just beat Colombia the other day in a friendly 6-0. Uh, New Zealand coming from Oceania, they're not a very strong team. They've never done well in World Cups. Uh, New Zealand has really minnowed uh, competition to face in the Oceania region against Pacific Island nations that really do not help in making them stronger. Uh, so I think the very obvious two favorites here are the USA and France. And I think France is currently one of the three best squads in the world. So very easily France could, could, could win this group. Um, but for now, I'm going to say the United States, that they have just been in excellent form lately, winning all of their games by multiple goal margins. And they won the World Cup last year. They're going into this tournament seeking a fourth consecutive gold medal. They've won every single Women's Olympics tournaments since the year 2000, I believe. Maybe even more than that, 1996. I have to check on that. So in this group, I think the United States will come in first. France will come in second. Um, I'll say Colombia comes in third. And New Zealand comes in fourth. But since only the two best third-place teams can advance, uh, I don't think we're going to see a third-place team in this group, at least, advance. I think it's going to be just the United States and France. So, in the quarterfinals, based on how the bracket is set up, we have, what, what, based on my predictions, what would be Brazil against Canada. And... That would be the first match, Brazil versus Canada. And then we would have the United States against China. France versus Germany, a rematch of the quarterfinals last year in the World Cup that was hailed by many as the best game of the tournament. What a firecracker that would be. And Australia against Sweden. So in the first quarterfinal, Brazil against Canada. Tough opponent for Brazil. I think Canada could spring a surprise here. But you know what? I'm going to say Brazil goes through. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt on home soil. I think Brazil wins. They go to the semifinals, but I think they're going to do it on penalties after a 1-1 draw. So Canada eliminated. Uh, the USA against China in the quarterfinals. They met China last year in the quarterfinals, and they only beat China 1-0. Recently, the United States had a friendly against China last December where they lost 1-0, and that was Abby Wambach's final game. China's not easy to beat. There's no guarantee we go to the semifinals on this one. Uh, but at the end of the day, we just have too much quality to overwhelm China. I think we'll win. China might force the game into extra time, but I think we'll get it done in 90 minutes. So the United States should get to the semifinals. China out. Group F, I mean, sorry, the next game, the winner of Group F, Germany, against the runner-up of G, France. I think this time France gets revenge. They were clearly the better team last year. Uh, they were unlucky to lose. They lost on penalties after 1-1 an extra time. So I think France will seek to live up to their full potential, and I think they'll beat Germany this time getting revenge and reaching the semifinals. So France to go through, Germany out. Uh, and in the final game, Sweden versus Australia, this is a game that literally anybody can win. Uh, over a year ago, I would have said Sweden were favorites, but now I'm going to say it's slightly Australia. Uh, as far as who I expect to win that game, 
to go to the semifinals, get the last spot against France in the semis? It's tough to say. Um, you know, I'm going to go with Australia. I really think Australia has the grit and the determination, just like they displayed last year, where they almost overthrew defending champions Japan. I think they're going to get to the semifinals and Sweden go out. So in the semifinals, I have Brazil against the United States, and I have France against Australia. Uh, Brazil are on home soil, going to be another tough game for the U.S., but I just don't see how this current U.S. team, who is in phenomenal form, probably currently the best U.S. team that the women's have ever had in their history. They're blowing out teams left and right in friendlies, 4-0, 5-0, 6-0, they won't do the same to, to Brazil, of course, especially on home soil, but I don't think Brazil has enough to get through the United States in the semifinals. So I think the United States gets to the final, and Brazil gets pushed to the bronze medal game. In the other semifinal, we have France against Australia. That has the makings of a fantastic, explosive game. Uh... Australia could cause an upset here, but I think France will nick it in extra time and get to the final and force Australia to the third place game. So, speaking of the third place game, I think the bronze medal match will be between Brazil and Australia. Uh, Australia eliminated Brazil last year at the World Cup. This time, I think Brazil gets a little bit of revenge on home soil. They go home with some kind of medal instead of empty-handed. I think the Brazilian national women's team will finish third place, the bronze medal. Australia will get fourth. And that leads us to the final in Rio de Janeiro on August 19th. The USA against France. And I have them meeting again in the final since they come from the same group. But even though I have the US winning the group, I don't think they'll beat France in the group. I think that that match will end in a draw, uh, heading up for which leads up to a steamy, confrontational rematch in the final just a couple of weeks later. And in the final, USA versus France, I'm gonna say the United States wins against France in extra time, two to one or three to two, and the United States again retains, holds on to the Olympic gold medal and wins their fourth Olympic gold in a row, defeating the French in the final. And okay, so these are my predictions. I think the U.S. will win the gold medal, France will get silver, Brazil will get third, and Australia will finish in fourth. Feel free to subscribe below, tell me what you think of my video, and yeah, share your predictions. See ya, everyone.